Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I'm back today with Justy James Beads and we're going to make a fun necklace using the Flamingo Beach uh, mix for summer and we're also going to make a matching pair of earrings. We're all we're going to incorporate this strand called Poolside and um, some enamel chain in sage. It's very tropical, looks like a bunch of jungle leaves, some monsteras. So we're gonna incorporate that. We have this awesome flamingo. Isn't that cool? Little enamel bird. Um, I pulled out some crystals from the mix, some bead caps, and uh, I have some wire on hand as well as some bead stringing wire and some jump rings. I'm going to open up my strand. And I'm after this little guy right here. And potentially these little crystals. But it's such a fun strand, I wanna incorporate it with the Flamingo uh, Beach Mix. So first I'm gonna create our pendant. I have some 22 gauge um, Beetle-On German style wire. And I'm just gonna do a wire wrap loop. Just a couple wraps. And then I am gonna feed on my bead cap, then my crystal, and then another bead cap. And I think they kind of look like a pearl and a clamshell going along with that beachy theme, that ocean theme. Love that. And then I am gonna go ahead and do another wire wrapped loop But before I close it, I'm gonna slide on my flamingo. And then we'll just wrap that closed. There we go. And then we'll trim. Okay, we have a cute little piece. And I'm gonna take out some more coordinating beads. I already cut up my um, poolside uh, strand and got out some bead um, spacer beads. And then I have a larger jump ring that I am going to slide my pendant on like that. Close that up, you can use your pliers, of course. And then I'm gonna string my beads onto that jump ring. These are number two crimp tubes and I have 19 strand beetle on bead stringing wire in gold. I am going to put on my crystal go from there put on that crimp tube and then I'm gonna crimp right onto that jump ring we'll make sure that those wires are not over overlapping each other slide them down and then put them into our crimps our crimping pliers and squish. Turn 90 degrees, move it up the crimping pliers and squish again, and then do it one or two more times. I am going to move those beads down and then trim. And then we are gonna crimp right onto that chain. Grab my chain and then I'm gonna come through and then back down through my crimp tube again and do the exact same thing I did on the other side. However, before I crimp, I'm gonna come through a couple of these beads to grab some leverage. Now here, it doesn't matter too much if we um, tighten or crimp in a straight line because 
we have so many um, joints like the flamingo and um, where we're connecting at the chain that it won't it won't affect how we are how the movement of the necklace. I'm going to go ahead and cut this extra because it's such a short part that we're crimping. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that. And crimp, turn, crimp again, and then I will do the exact same thing on the other side of the necklace. All right, our necklace is strong, and then I am going to um, attach a toggle clasp from Jesse James Beads with just a jump ring on either side. I've already connected one side, but I thought this little sun reminded me of a day in the, at the beach. So cute. And there we go. Super duper cute. With a little bit of bling at the bottom leading down to our little flamingo. There we go. Super cute. And we're going to make a pair of earrings. I saved this little flower, the teardrop, and another bead cap from the um, mix. And I have a ball head pin. I'm going to take that ball head pin and slide it through both our bead cap and our flower. So it rests inside like that. Next, I am going to bring, this is pretty malleable, I think it's like 25 gauge wire. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and bring it around the front of one of these petals. And this is how I'm gonna lock that wire in place. And then I'm gonna bring it back around and hold it with my pointer finger and then bring it straight up right here. And I'm gonna just do a wire wrapped loop. And then I am going to hold that with my pliers and start wrapping, just like we would any other loop. And don't worry if it, if it doesn't work on the first try, it's gonna work. <laughs> don't worry, it's really it's just the same as a regular wire wrap loop, but because you're not going around a bead or right through a bead. It might feel a little weird at first, it's okay. We're gonna cut our end piece right there. So this is what it looks like from the front, just like there's just a loop there. This is what it looks like in the back. And then I'm gonna take some more of my 22 gauge wire and I'm gonna create a wire wrapped loop. And then Close that up. Slide on my teardrop. And start another tear, uh, another wire wrapped loop. And then before I close that, I am going to snap it on to my flower. And then we are going to wire up that closed. Making sure to snip in the back so it's not visible from the front of the earring. And then I am gonna take an ear wire that on and here we have a sweet floral pair of earrings to match our little necklace 
I think the pair looks great together with the same hues on the flower and the bird. And then the aqua is tied in up here and it just gives us a fun tropical feel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to Jesse James Beads for having me back. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Cutie. Oh, cutie.